We only have to be ourselves. However you feel, your mood, your energy, that you carry these things through your body and you are allowed to carry those through in your body in movement. I'm Sandy Wu and I work in the arts as a creative producer, a community facilitator and a dance artist. The Quest is a journey of discovery where we leap into the great unknown together. We draw on the stories that are held within our bodies, bring them to the fore through movement and creativity. Quest comes out of a narrative story written by George MacDonald in the 18th century, where the main character goes on a quest for pleasure and joy. Hi, I'm Lauren Watson. I was afraid of these for a very long time. It was something that it scared me a little bit, just being in, so vulnerable in a group of people who can move differently to the way I move. But I've discovered that there is no right or wrong way to move. The way I move is perfectly fine because it's how I move. That's probably the most important thing that I've actually picked up. Creative developments allow artists to be able to create work that nobody else will be able to create because our point of difference is so unique. My name's Olivia and I'm one of the performers in this project. Projects like this are helpful because it enables those people who may not necessarily have had access previously to dance and performance to participate. And I think dance and movement, especially this project where we're given some stimuli, if any, and we, we can create the conversation through our body. And it's, um, it's animal, it's instinctual, it's spontaneous, it's a language spoken that we can't necessarily speak in society and other spaces in our lives. Opening ourselves up to expression and to connection with others. And it was incredibly powerful and it made us quite vulnerable. Before I, I was, I didn't, didn't do not, nothing at all, okay? I just work, sleep, eat and dancing gets me out, okay, and about and, and fulfills, fulfills my joy, you know. Dancing is an extension of the use of this body that we have. It can release chemicals in the brain. It can be a sensory overload and it also can be a way in which we communicate without words. And in order to do that process, you have to wait, you have to create the space, you have to really listen. 